Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Today, I'm going to show you an iPhone case that I think is pretty cool. It's not designed specifically as an assistive technology or disability product, but I think it has some pretty cool assistive technology implications. So I know that one of the challenges people have with iPhones and, and those kind of things is they drop them and they break and they're expensive to replace. And there are some cases that try to be impact resistant to help them not break when you drop them. Um, I found recently this new case called the Loopy case, and it was actually a Kickstarter campaign um, that was done a, a year or so ago. A couple of guys from Indiana designed this thing, and what they did was created a case with a rubber loop on the back of it. And the idea is it's not the most strong impact resistant case that I've ever seen, but what it allows you to do is always have your finger in this rubber band kind of thing here to keep you from dropping your case or dropping your phone. So when I put my iPhone iPhone in here, and this one happens to be for an iPhone 6 Plus, I just very simply pop the case in, get it, get it in there, um, snap it on, it's fairly firm, and then I put my finger in here, and when I hold my phone, it doesn't want to fall. So I can bounce up and down. When the, I want to grab something and get the phone out of my way, I just move the phone to the back of my hand, use my hand to grab my keys or get my wallet or open a door or whatever. When I want to get it back for use, I just flip it up here and it's in my hand. I also find that if I'm looking up, like I'm laying in bed and I'm looking up at the to do a text message or something, I don't drop it on my nose. Now, the thing is that's cool about that, as we talk about people who have certain kinds of disabilities, the ability to have that phone in your hand when you're having tremors or if you have limited hand strength, I think is really important. Um, and so the Loopy case tends to solve that sort of a problem. Now, they're a little on the expensive side in my opinion. These cases run between $30 and $40 right now, and they're doing some promotions and uh, a post-Kickstarter kind of thing. Um, but if you're thinking about the cost of a broken iPhone screen, um, I think you might decide that a case like this could be helpful, especially if you have some limited range of motion or limited hand dexterity. They make them for modern day iPhones, so I think iPhone 5 and iPhone 6. They also make them for Samsung. You can learn more about them at loopycases.com. So that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.